hello everyone welcome to this channel and today we going to talk about how to get heat flux profile by using tonative software yeah previously i have posted four videos how to use tonative software in this video i will show one more feature in the tonative software how can we extract heat flux profiles so what do you mean by heat flux profile it means here we can see that this is parabolic drop collector this parabolic drop collector it's focusing all the heat so as a sunlight into the receiver area so the all focusing lights are falling on the receiver surface but in reality the receiver surface is a circular tube and even the heat flux receiving is reflected from the reflectors are not in uniform we can see that graph c it shows the along with axial length of the receiver tube or perimeter length we can see the heat flux profile falling on the receiver tube is not uniform it's like uh, non uniform cases which means the bottom of the observer having this bottom of the observer having a more focused heat flux than above the top of the observer tubes so which mean that we have to consider these things in our study in our simulation or experimental design or whatever things not only in for parabolic drift collector for any solar collectors we have very concentrating solar collectors we having a non uniform heat flux so the main focus is we have to study this non uniform heat flux how it's varying for different different collectors for example here we can see that uh, this paper is talking about numerical simulation of uh, parabolic drop collectors polar collector with nano fluid using as a two phase flow model uh, this paper considers uh, using cfd software for analyzing the performance of uh, observer tube they have consider uh, different mathematical models to perform the cfd and uh, consider the non uniform heat flux conditions but in reality uh, these it is a little complicated and it will take very long time and it is not not easy to for do, anyone can do it for and especially this is parabolic drop collector so the mathematical method is is already proven one and existing one so we can refer many papers and many literatures whereas the other non concentrating collectors like cpc or uh, heliostat or parabolic dis some of them are will little difficult to find proper mathematical equations and it's very complicated and it will take long time so that's why we i will show you how to extract heat flux profile using tonative of the tonative we already know it's a open source software so it's free to use so here i in this example i will show you only parabolic drop collector you can follow for different collectors also same procedure see we can this uh, graph here shows i taken from the only one of the literatures the uh, in x axis it shows 0 to 360 it means the angle circular angle of the receiver tube where the 0 degree starts it may be we can assume at the if you draw circle like this here is 0 degree starts and if it is going in clockwise direction it will be 90 here and 180 it's like that so when we see that the angle between 60 to 300 degree here here we getting more heat flux more non uniform heat flux in this area so that's what this graph shows that is called local concentration ratio each and every one degree we can measure one heat flux one coordinate one heat flux value so that we plotted x in graph so it will show us a graph in this graph we can easily understand how the heat flux is distributed along the receiver tube so this type of heat flux graph we can easily extract from the tonati software in tonati software we having an option called uh, uh, flux generator or something so we can easily extract only thing we need to select the the active surface uh, the which we surface area we want to measure the heat flux and we have to give number of rays and we have to give grid division the grid division is nothing but 
example if you assume one circular tube you dividing this uh, maybe if you elongated this tube it will be looks like a like a rectangular or something we can assume this is a rectangular we can divide grids if number of grid points like now maybe assume 1 2 3 4 5 grid points is there you can increase up to maybe the overall length is same but you can increase the number of grid lengths so this now if you varying the number of grid lengths both along width direction height direction then the accuracy of heat flux the local concentration ratio will be more accurate these things you will see in the software i'll show you how it's varying with respect to the grid divisions so this software is from uh, finally this tonati output can give as a text file in the text file we having local coordinate like both x axis x direction and y direction like for this point if you want to measure it will give x x axis this point and y axis this point what is the heat flux value or this point you can get it from this x this y so similarly the that output file gives as a textbook format so we can use the text file format to any other even you can plot separate graph using some other software because the tonati uh, graph heat flux graphs are not looking good you can plot externally also and even additionally we can couple this heat flux into the film software how this paper is did they did for numerical simulation of parabolic triplicate by using cfd software even we can perform same something like this ah uh, here i have consider uh, already pre loaded example you can go and open in the example already ls3 is there ls3 is standard parabolic triplicate we can change sun position 90 degree see generally we will go do here and we can run we can run the simulation and it will give binary output this binary output file we can use it for in coupling with or exploring more detail by using external software like matlab or something but tonati already having a easy post processing process of up method also we can give click, click run flux analysis and go to surface url here we have to select the observer tube because the heat flux is falling on the observer tube and we want to measure that observer only so click that one and in the observer tube we having two sides one is inside and outside we want to measure outside and uh, type number of rays one more thing you have to remember the okay i'll tell you later i just click run see now the heat flux profile is generated even the graph also generated now th again this is not accurate heat flux profile because when we changing number of rays the heat flux profile is varying so before doing any simulation or any ray tracing we have to first validate our number of rays or we use how to fix some optimum number of rays similarly when we varying the grid division see even that graph also varying in that the flux distribution contour images also varying so even we have to make select perfect optimum grid division even we can't increase keep on increase up to maximum number you see if you going maximum number it gives more local concentration that looks more messy so we can't use it we can keep it under under yeah it should look better or we can change to 50 Yeah, change outside. Okay, now we can vary. We can give units also, like 
in length we can assume it is a meter or power watt per meter square it is just for appearance purpose then this is important we can export this output as a asa file format or image if you want to export image this will give image we will first see asa format select directory file name yeah it's exported and one more thing uh, if we untick this save as a coordinate grid means it will comes like this can you imagine maybe assume this is x axis and this is y axis it will the output will be giving like this like a contour image directly it will showing something like 0 is 0 comma 0 is 497 something it's like 0 0.21 equal to 12 what's the value like that it will showing as a matrix file format if you don't want matrix output just click the save as a coordinate grid and export see now it give x axis and y axis and flex value So, by this way we can extract heat flux profile for any type of collector. Similarly, for we can do it for others, other type of collector also. Thanks for watching.